Hi, you all. So happy to talk to you. So happy to see you. Welcome to my channel, Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia, and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 260 pounds, and I have successfully kept my weight off since July of 2020. I'm gonna keep saying that. I like saying that, I'm happy about that. And on my channel, I vlog daily, plus every week I show you what I've meal prepped and all the food that I have in my household. And we also grow microgreens together. So today, let's chit chat about being yourself. On yesterday's vlog, I listed eight things that I have enjoyed about this process of losing weight and gaining health. Well, on today's vlog, I'm going to list 10 things that I have done on this weight loss slash health gain journey to be myself. Right, yeah. So let's roll into the 10 things, okay? Um, one, I chose not to do things that are against me, things that I just don't like. For example, going to a gym. I don't like going to the gym because it takes time, it takes effort, I have to pack a bag and drive there, have the appropriate clothes for the gym, and then get back home. That's too much. I'd rather exercise in my home or around my immediate surroundings. So I didn't say, okay, let's sign up for that gym membership. It's only $10 a month and the first six months are free and they'll give me a free water bottle or tumbler or something like that. No, I chose to stay away from the gym because I don't like the gym. I also chose not to count my calories, whether I do it with a piece of paper or on an app, I don't like doing that. So that is another way that I have chosen to be myself. On Weigh In Wednesdays, you guys see this a lot, this other way that I choose to be myself as opposed to fit into some type of a weight loss paradigm or structure or... Um, What, what word am I trying to say? As opposed to trying to fit into some weight loss protocol, I decided that I am going to continue to eat junk food or unhealthy food. Yes, I will eat it less. And no, I will not, as far as what I'm saying now, go back to the chips and the candy bars. I don't want that, I don't desire that anymore. But I do still desire my refried beans, my Spanish rice, my french fries, my pretzels, and now occasionally some chocolate, just maybe once a month. So yeah, I am continuing to be myself by still enjoying the junk foods that I actually like. I'm not completely cutting them out of my life. Another way that I choose to be myself is by saving money and not buying exercise equipment or even being given, if a friend wants to give me some stuff, exercise equipment that I don't really want to use. Because I don't like that. I don't want to jump rope. I don't, at this time, really want dumbbells or like heavy lifting things, even though I'd like my body to tone up. I don't want the heavy ones, you know? Also, um, there's a lot of weight loss or, or exercise equipment apparatus -i, or apparatuses. I'm not sure if it's apparatus -i or apparatuses. There are a lot of weight loss equipment um, things out there that I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my money on because that's not me. I am a walker and I enjoy jumping on a trampoline. I've had a membership to a trampoline park before and I used it and I enjoyed it. Um, so outside of the part where even my toes would be sore <laughs> because it does work out every muscle, um, 
I, I, I enjoyed it. So I'm getting myself a trampoline and I'm avoiding buying other equipment that even though it might be a pretty color or people rave about the results, I'm not going there. Another way I choose to be myself is, I if you watch, um, if you watch when I show you all the foods that I have in my household, I don't do that on a specific day, but I do do it. I do show you what I've meal prepped every week. If you look at those videos, you'll see that my lunches are very simple: beans, rice, guacamole, pasta, and guacamole. Um, my own homemade quinoa bread and some mushrooms and spinach and mustard and dates on top. Um, I prefer freedom over fanciness. I am not yet the vegan master chef that is within me. I have not yet unearthed her. But my meals don't try to compete with others. My meals I want to say are very bland. They don't taste bland, but they look very primitive and barbaric and simple. And that's me. Am I primitive, barbaric, and simple? To some, absolutely. But, you know, um, I'm not really trying to do it up or pizzazzify my meals or my meal prepping, even though I'm broadcasting it to the world. I'm still keeping it simple and within who I am. I'm still being myself in that way. Every week on my way in Wednesdays, I share with you all the lies that I've told myself and my non-scale victories. I could choose to lie about stuff or um, I could choose to lie to you all or not tell you certain things or to embellish things, but I don't. I'm, I'm honest on those times, on those episodes. So that's me being myself. I'm just being very honest. I let you guys know if I really don't have information on why this food is blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to break down the nutrition factors or the nutrient factors or anything like that. It's not me. That's not who I am. I'm very plain and simple when it comes to that. So I just tell you, oh, eating dried apricots, eating uncooked oatmeal, eating dates, this is great. I like it, it keeps me fuller. It curbs away my desire for sweet things. I can't break down to you why it does it, but it just does and I, I roll with it. Another way that I am genuinely myself it goes with the same thing about me eating junk food. Okay, so this is similar. Now, I could lie to you all about how much junk food I eat because if you go back to some of my Way in Wednesdays and you just see like four burrito wrappers and two containers from different restaurants and three containers from different fast food places all in one week. I am being honest and being myself about when I am out of control. Even though I am a leader on this channel called Overcoming Gluttony, I do have my moments of being out of control. And that is me being myself. That's not me trying to be, oh, Miss Queen that sits on top of a throne that has done everything perfectly and I'm steadily losing weight and in inches every single week because I'm doing things in a wise, meticulous, prudent way. No. This is Alicia, who at times is messy and counteracts her progress. That's me being myself. Okay, so now on another way in my weight loss journey where I am myself is, hey, I've started this YouTube channel. Am I portraying somebody differently than what my friends and family members know me as? Hmm. In some ways, 
To be truthful, I usually get a lot of compliments on how I dress. But on this channel, I keep it simple. I have my uniform. <laughs> I'm not really trying to get dressed for YouTube, even though I'm broadcasting myself to the world. I choose to have this uniform for YouTube as opposed to, you know, showing you how I typically dress when I'm out and about for multiple reasons. One, I'm on a hair growth journey that and I plan on keeping my hair in a protective style until 2025. So um, I'm not really trying to do my hair for the camera because I want to keep my hair in that protect, protective style. And my black hat won't match all of the outfits I would normally wear. And also, the reason why I don't show you guys how I would typically dress when I'm out and about is because I don't have as large of a wardrobe selection as I normally would have. As my weight and my inches are decreasing every single month, I'm sticking to just like seven dresses that I have in my closet as opposed to having normally I'd want like 22 dresses for every season. That's what I usually desire to have in my closet, 22 dresses for every season. But now I'm down to seven because I'm losing weight and I'll just wait until I get to the size 10 zone before I start really bulking up my wardrobe. So that's one way where I am kind of not who I generally am. Normally I dress in a way that's, um, that gets compliments, but I don't do that for the camera here because I'm in the process of losing weight. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of tired. I'm tired. And a lot of times you guys, especially if you go back to when I first started recording, you'll see me looking a hot, sloppy, tired mess which is <laughs> something that I used to be adamant against. All right, now moving on. A ninth way that I am myself. I have my own personal life and I invest into YouTube and speaking to you all, maybe 10% of my energy, maybe. If it was actually 4% of my energy, that might be more accurate. That is how I genuinely am. I know what my priorities are. I'm being myself and being honest about my priorities. There have been multiple times for various reasons where I have not recorded daily, but I'll record like four videos in one day as opposed to recording each one daily as I should. Why? Because rather than be perfect, with YouTube and recording, I'm preferring my health. So rather than record a video and be Miss On Top Of It USA, I will choose to go to sleep and get some rest for my health. Rather than record a video and be diligent and focused on what I should do, as a YouTuber, I will choose to eat my breakfast comfortably, I will choose to walk and exercise for an hour. So I'm being myself by putting my health first and not trying to act like I'm this person that's Johnny on the spot for my subscribers. Because that is not me. I do have a life, I do have my goals and ambitions, and YouTube is probably fourth on my list. Look at that. Fourth! You see that? I, got it. I have a degree in social work. <laughs> it's fourth. No. YouTube is probably fourth on my list, maybe even fifth on my list of priorities. It's God, then my health, then church stuff, and then... Um, let me see. I don't know if church stuff is included in my own personal ministry of like writing books and all that stuff and writing poems. But um, then it's like, so God, my health, exercising with God, my health, church stuff, possibly ministry stuff, like with writing poems and stuff. 
and then it's my job and then YouTube so you guys are somewhere in between fourth and sixth in my life no hate no shade no complaints I'm just being myself and being honest and then the tenth way that I have been myself on my health journey is not caring about other people's opinions about what I'm doing maybe you have loved ones maybe you have cashiers at the grocery stores who are trying to advise you and tell you what to do co-workers yada 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 one way another way that I am myself in regards to my health journey is that I'm unconcerned with other people's opinions about what I'm doing to gain a healthy lifestyle. I'm doing it my way and the way that I want to. So um, I'm being successful with my health goals. As you all know, I'm doing my health goals for 2023 95% of the time. And I think by being myself and doing it in a way that is me and not what the weight loss society wants me to do or family wants me to do or whoever wants me to do by being who I genuinely am and incorporating who I gen genuinely am on my weight loss journey I'm being successful so I would like to encourage you to incorporate who you genuinely are on your weight loss journey and as you do that you will be more successful and then I'd like to add another one, an 11th one that I think that may help you, 11th way that I am myself. So I started working on losing weight in July of 2020. In some areas, I am like commando drill sergeant, we gotta get this done. And I am trying to run like um, Elisha, was it Elijah or Elisha? I think it was Elijah. Yeah, Elijah, I'm trying to run like as fast as I can to get the job done. And instead of for taking three days, it only takes one. Or like how Jonah did that, you know. So I put full, full force effort in some things. But when it comes to weight loss, no. So my 11th way that I've been myself is I've been very casual about my weight loss journey by not becoming full-fledged commando drill sergeant get it done get it done efficiently no i've been slowly changing just one or two behaviors each year to ingrain them into my lifestyle and that is um that is i believe part of the reason why i've been successful it's because it's me that's how I am in some areas. I can be very casual in some areas and weight loss is one of those areas. And because I've been casual about my weight loss, it has been sustainable. And also um, it's been ingrained, not just me continuously doing it out of obedience, but it's like a part of me and a part of something I desire to do and I won't let go because I want it. So yeah. By being who you are, doing things the way you want to do it, I hope that it brings you success. So I would like to report to you that I have completed, successfully completed my um, 2023 health goals. I walked for an hour before going to work. And I also had my breakfast consist of four servings of raw vegetables and I drank a total of 110 ounces of water yesterday and 60 of those ounces were during my breakfast time and I'm completing my health goals 95% of the time hooray 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 and I also spent six dollars of um, I spent six dollars on junk food yesterday so all those numbers I gave you were for yesterday not for today but I spent six dollars on junk food yesterday and if you want to know what that was be sure to watch Way in Wednesday where I tell you about my um, non-scale victories the lies I've told myself 
and you get to see my new weight, hear about my new weight, and um, also see all the unhealthy junk food that I've eaten throughout the week. So now I would like to read to you a poem that I have wrote. It's titled, Moving Forward. Moving Forward. As I step away from myself and move to a new place, I let the baggage go and accept your provision of grace. I lean toward you, for you are my strength and my might. I lean toward you, for you are the victor in this fight. Yes, you are the victor. You are the one who's won. Not my own actions, but what your blood for me has done. It's given me strength, joy, and life fresh and new. The blood has given me the ability to bow down and trust in you. A space just for my head to be placed on top of your chest. When my heart is heavy and stresses, stressors abound, I'll always have a place of rest. It's in you. It's in you. It's in you, my mighty king. You are the one who has assured me a victory you will bring. So I can rest my head pleasantly on top of your chest upon the one awesome creator who always knows what's best. So I will move forward. I will trust in you and obey. I will move forward right now, today. To this new place I have come to see. I move forward trusting in God, gaining victory. I move forward. So thank you so much for your time, you all. I know this is a long one. I hope y'all don't mind. I hope y'all don't mind. But um, tomorrow we will be talking about hindrances. So I hope to see you on that vlog. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.